Hey guys, Lee here, the bartending photo boothing rental guy. Today, I bring you a pole tent hack. When I got my first tent, it was a 20 by 30 pole tent. I didn't know anything about tents and it came with this nice big aluminum strong pole. Looks like somebody made it themselves, but I didn't even realize that at the time. So I was like, oh yeah, poles are strong. And then I got my second pole tent and it was a 20 by 20 and it came with these flimsy little poles. They come apart in the middle there, so just like that. Okay, it was kind of handy that they broke down into two. So I was like, oh my gosh, what if one of these things breaks? I need a strong one like this, so I know if someone farts at an event that the tent's not gonna buckle. I came up with a solution for tent poles after about uh, five or six beers. It take you five or six years? No, no, no. I was drinking five or six beers and the idea came to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just at Home Depot right now. I came across the uh, galvanized poles and they're seven feet tall just like tent poles they have caps that I can shave down and I can thread a screw into the top booyah so all of a sudden I can just make my own tent poles for my pole tent it's a win this is all my materials vroom, vroom. okay so here it is all shaved up Let's drill a hole through the bottom so we can put the galvanized screw through. I didn't pre-punch the hole location and mine was a little off center, so be smart, don't be like me. Okay, so a galvanized tent post can be a tent pole. So there it is, you saw it here first. Or maybe you saw it somewhere else first, but uh, I think you saw it here first. Hey everyone, if you like this video, stay tuned for more videos on stakes, tent ratchets, tent jackhammer, and just general tent setup videos. And for all you photo boothers tuning in, don't worry, I got more of those videos coming soon.